All right. Good morning, Wildcats. We are here for Wildcat Wednesday. Um, I have Susan Holthouse, principal at Grandview. Um, before I turn the floor over to her, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, last week we were closed on Thursday, Friday for staffing and, and, and illnesses, but we are very, very close to having some potential transportation issues. So a about a month ago, we sent out information on the emergency transportation plan. Um, I will be sending out some more information, kind of refresher on that piece. So parents be thinking about that. Um, what would that look like if um, we had to make some changes in transportation? So um, we will definitely notify you as quickly as we can when those things happen, if that would happen. Um, but we wanna make sure that we give people plenty of time to make um, adjustments and do what they need to do for their families. So we want you to be prepared ahead of time. So with that in mind, um, I'm going to turn the floor over to Susan Holthouse. She's going to talk about some of the amazing, great things happening out at Grandview Elementary. Susan, take it away. Good morning. There are lots of great things going on at Grandview. Um, first of all, I still have to brag. We were nominated um, from the state of Kansas to be a Blue Ribbon School to apply for that. Uh, we did not seek out the nomination from Kansas. Uh, so we were named a Blue Ribbon exemplary, exemplary Performing School. So it was based on our test scores. Um, we're very proud of that distinction. There were five schools nominated from Kansas uh, in November. Mrs. Johnson, Mrs. Tosh and I got to go to Washington DC for a fabulous conference and to accept this award. Um, it was very, uh, the best experience I've ever had. Um, the PD in preparing the application, I worked with a team from Grandview. We prepared the, nom the uh, application. It was about 20 pages long. It was write an essay about this, and it's 600 words. Write a 300 word essay about this. How did you handle this? Um, it questioned us about COVID procedures. It questioned us about our academic procedures. It questioned us about our disciplinary procedures. It was really, really in depth. And the team that helped write it with me commented that it was the best professional development they've ever had. To have to seek in and dig into what we actually do and we do it just because we do it, but to seek out the reasons and who's involved and how we do it was really fascinating. And it provided us with some good insight onto what's going on here at Grandview. Uh, we will receive a flag to fly on our flag post under the Kansas flag, um, of course, due to supply chain issues. Um, I've heard a couple of times that it's in transit. So we just don't know where in transit it is, but we will get it. Um, the district did provide us with some funds for a couple of banners and we handed out pencils to our students. Uh, we have two big banners, one in the office and one in the hallway. Uh, proclaiming that Grandview Elementary is a 2121 school, Blue Ribbon School. So we take that as quite an honor and uh, encourage anybody uh, that has the opportunity to apply to do that, that if they're chosen by the state to do that. We were very, very thrilled. And it takes the work of the entire school um, from, from our custodians and our, our cooks to our teachers, to our aides, to our paras, to our support staff, um, to the office staff, everybody. Everybody participates in that. So speaking of that, I wanna compliment our staff. Um, I wanna appreciate all the flexibility that they've shown. We have often been short of subs, just like any other school. And we've got the most amazing staff that can pretty well turn on a dime. Um, I really don't want to use the word pivot unless I'm talking about Ross and the sofa from Friends on uh, going up the stairs. That's when it was funny. Pivot is in education is really not a funny term, um, but we are doing a lot of that and we call it flexibility. Um, our staff is always willing even to volunteer saying I've got a 
I've got a break here. Do you need me? Um, I even had a teacher last week offered to take a recess duty for me. And just that added 15 minutes was fabulous. I got a lot done. Um, I wanna appreciate the parents too that are calling their students in absent. That saves us a lot of time. We wanna make sure all students are safe. So please, even if you called in yesterday that they were sick, please keep calling each day so that we can keep track of that. It's very important and we wanna make sure that your students are safe and healthy. Um, nurse, we've got a new nurse, Lindsay Bruner. And she is doing a fabulous job of taking care of your students as well as keeping track and contacting parents with COVID issues. Um, we are very grateful for the testing that's going on in our district. We appreciate that. I wanna compliment your students. Um, they are doing a great job for all the absences the, over the long period. Of course, we reiterated our expectations but our office referrals are really at a minimum. And we're so proud of our students and we appreciate your support on that. They're doing a great job. Um, I wanna put some credit toward our Great Gator Awards. We do those Great Gator Awards for kindergartners through second graders to lay that foundation of what our expectations are. We want to uh, make sure that they know the Gator ABCs that they know our values for choose to be nice. And we always discuss those. And we want to recognize those students for those three years and build that foundation. And it's taken us years, but we are starting to really see with choose to be nice, our champs expectations and our capture kids hearts, uh, social agreements and our Excel model, just the expectations from those three all meld together and has resulted in students staying in classrooms more and visiting me less. So we're very proud of that as well. Um, we believe in building strong relationships and I think that has also helped with our discipline. Um, our Choose to be Nice program is a program that was developed by a teacher and I got to meet this teacher a few years ago in Boston at a conference. And she developed Choose to be Nice because it was following, she's from back east and it was following the bombing um, during the Boston Marathon. And she wanted something simple. So she came up with just choose to be nice. If everybody chooses to be nice, we could eliminate a lot of the issues in our world. And she came up with, um, the values of responsibility, friendship, patience, courage, teamwork, honesty, respect, acceptance, and kindness. And we focus on those um, one each month and we have a quote and we read it over the announcements in the morning, the students read it. We repeat the promise. Um, and every year she has upped the game and improved the program. So I really appreciate being our PTO for being able to fund that program. I think that has helped our students a lot. And um, of course, my goal was always to spread that to the entire community. If, if we all just choose to be nice, then, then we'd be in a lot better world and a lot less stress. The world's causing us enough stress as, as it is. We don't wanna add more to it. So um, the students say the promise, it's simple, um, it's direct, it's to the point, and I love the gear that they wear too. This says choose to be nice. So that lets everybody, I always wear mine, um, especially when I'm going out of town. I like to wear my hoodie or my choose to be nice t-shirt and let everybody know. Uh, what's coming up for Grandview? We have um, the opportunity and we're so excited to pay back to the community. We have the opportunity from Numana to take part school-wide in a packaging um, over three days. Each grade level will go at a separate time starting next Wednesday. And we'll have one grade level go in the morning, one grade level go in the afternoon. And our little kindergartners and even our littlest three and four-year-olds are gonna get to decorate boxes. Um, 
there's kind of a rush on this. Uh, they want this to go to Tennessee, to the tornado victims. And you know, and then Tennessee has been hitting every Arctic blast and snowstorm that we've been light on, they've been heavier on. So we are very excited to take a grade level at a time. They can socially distance us, we'll have our masks and transportation has agreed to find a way to get us out there. And so while the littles will be decorating boxes, the older students from first grade on through fifth grade will be packaging meals. Uh, we will send a note home today about that. Every meal does cost, there's a small monetary cost. So we're gonna ask parents if you can help offset those costs. They do have a grant that helps schools, um, but there is still gonna be some cost. So if you can send a donation, just send it to Grandview and we will take it to Numana with us. And that'll help pay for some of the packaging of the meals that we do take part in. But we are really excited. Our building leadership team wanted to do a community project and this fell in our lap. So we are thrilled to go out to Numana next week. Um, other than that, we are sailing right along at Grandview. And if you ever have any questions or concerns, just please send an email, a dojo, or give me a call. And we'll be glad to go through any concerns you have. That's why we're here. If you have concerns about um, something that may involve Mrs. Johnson, she, again, email, call. We are ready to handle it. And we will sit down with you and discuss anything that's on your mind. We'd be glad to do that. That's why we're here. And um, it's great to be a Gator. Thank you very much. That's awesome, Susan. Thank you. Um, I kind of really appreciate the fact that you've gone from choose to be nice to choose to give back. And what a great way to have the kids um, help out and be part of that and give back to the community. So kudos to that. And congratulations again on the National Blue Ribbon School. That is a phenomenal feat. Um, not an easy thing. Top 5% of schools in the country. So um, it's always a good thing to to remember that because it was a lot of hard work and you guys did a great job to get in there. So thank you for joining us. We appreciate having you and we will see you next Wildcat Wednesday with El Dorado Middle School. So see you soon. Take care. Bye Wildcats. Take care. Bye.